another girl talk and in this girl talk I am going to be getting ready so you guys will be seeing that I asked you guys to send me questions in the community tab and I also asked on my Instagram so if you want to participate in the next girl talk please make sure you're following my Instagram so you don't miss it but let's go ahead and get started because I want to get to every question possible and this makeup look is gonna be a makeup look that I have done before so if you want specific details on all the products that I'm using please reference my um, enhance your features with makeup video and that is that anyways so let's get started the first question was tips on making your perfume last longer now one of the tips that I have is to definitely try to use the if this is your everyday perfume try to make sure that you are using your perfume right after the shower make sure you are putting it on all of your pressure points and um, if you have if the brand that your perfume is from has a lotion to pair with it always get the lotion because when you put two similar scents together they do last longer the next question is how do you get rid of a crush getting my beauty blitter how do you get rid of a crush that does not go away now I'm assuming like this is school like you are going to school with your crush and you just don't know how to get over them because you see them every day um look I would say that most high school crushes and relationships um you're in that kind of puppy love stage so you want to imagine that they're like the best person ever but as you grow older and as you have more experience with men you start forming your standards and what you think you want right now is going to change you don't start forming your standards until you've had a significant amount of relationships and a significant amount of experience so i would say that even though you think that your feelings are going to last forever and you think this is the person that is going to rock your world i mean it could be but nine times out of ten you are going to change and the person that you think that you want right now forever is not going to be the person you want in a couple of years or a year or a few months like it just depends on how much experience you're having like i would say that coming into college and now leaving college like in the next year the type of man that i want oh my god a cat hair like a cat hair cat hair all over my face has significantly changed throughout the years because I have become more confident and I know like what I deserve so I don't settle for bullshit so let the feelings ride out they're gonna go away on its own never force feelings away you're supposed to feel we're human beings if you feel hurt you feel hurt and you need time for yourself you know and take that seriously but I'm telling you even though it hurts in the moment it's not gonna last forever trust me next question how to glow up and find your style now i have a video on how i kind of glowed up i don't really like that term but the reason why i use it is because it's so popular <coughs> basically the best way to glow up is to look at what style like take three top people like three women like on social media whether they're influencers or celebrities take three top women that you see and you're like oh my god like i want their style like i want their look and just study them see how they coordinate their colors together when they're dressing see how they do their hair see how they do their makeup and it really does take trial and error sometimes a lot of times you're going to see something that works on other people but it doesn't work on you and that's okay but there are ways to mix it up to make it work on you so i would say take three top women study them study how they act in interviews or study how they are on their social media just see how they dress and see because if we're going to be honest people take their style from other people they take bits and pieces from other people and they implement it into their selves and they just find the best way possible to make it look good on them 
So that's what you need to do. The best way to glow up is to kind of just find confidence in yourself. And the way to be confident is to be honest with yourself. If you see that you have a lot of acne and you hate it, one of the ways for you to be more confident is to clear your skin. If you see that you're gaining weight and you want to change it, one of the ways you can become more confident is to lose weight. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to look at yourself and be like, what about myself do I want to change? And if it costs money and you really, really want it, like for example, if you want a rhinoplasty, like you've been wanting it your whole entire life, who's to say that you can't get that? Get whatever you want, change whatever you want, because it really does help with your confidence. I have a whole entire video on how to glow up, so you can check that out for more detail. Okay, so this person asked, I'm starting my freshman year of high school at a new school in a new city. Any advice on how to fit in? Um, so fun fact, that's what happened to me too. We moved my, the end of middle school and then I started high school in a place like I literally didn't know anyone. And it was the type of high school where a lot of the people going into that high school already knew each other. Um, I'm somebody who can make friends easily, but I don't keep a lot of friends. The biggest thing that I would tell you guys is that, I mean, you're in high school, so you're going to have to meet people and you're going to stop being friends with them. It's just like the cycle of life, seeing what you're compatible with and what you're not compatible with. But I would definitely say that never fake who you are because when you fake who you are you're going to attract people who are like the personality you're faking so you want to always make sure that you're being yourself because that's how you attract people that you're most compatible with that's how you attract real friends you can't complain about always attracting fake friends and you are not truly being honest about who you are so make sure you're projecting the best version of you make sure you set boundaries with your friends if your friends are doing things that make you feel uncomfortable speak out about it like just because they're your friend doesn't mean that you can let them walk all over you um i would definitely say since you're in high school you know join clubs sports if you like that um there are a lot of things that they do in classes, I think I remember, like icebreakers and stuff, where you're kind of, for like, the way that I met my best friend is because we were forced into a project together. I met her freshman year of high school, and we're still friends today, uh, senior year of college. So, you can meet some lifelong friends in high school. Um, don't stress about it because it'll happen naturally. Friends aren't everything, and you really learn that when you grow older. Somebody asked... How do you know when the guy you're with is actually in love with you? It's hard because it's like people show their love towards you in different ways. People love people in different ways. Like you're not going to have... See, th this is a problem that people like tend to fall into where they think like your first love is going to be like your second love and your second love is going to be like your third love. They're all going to be the same feelings, but they're very different feelings. Normally, your first love is the most like traumatic your first love is the most chaotic a lot is going on um a lot of people are so young and they're still developing in them into themselves so the first love is always the roughest one um but i would say the way you can tell like a guy is in love with you is if you guys just have that chemistry and connection that just bond you guys effortlessly it's kind of like a feeling that you've known somebody for a long time it's like the way he talks to you the way he talks about you the way like if you were to ask a guy like hey like what do you think about me like what made you like want to be with me and he says oh you're um cute and funny versus a guy who's like i really like how your face lights up when you smile like i really and like granted a lot of people like some people i'm not gonna say a lot some people don't have that communication style but you want someone with that communication style especially as a woman because communication is super super important and a lot of times you need that detail to keep your flame going keep the relationship going so one of the things that i've also been thinking about that's been on my mind is that even though somebody loves you and they're showing you that they love you it's still valid for you to say this is not the type of love that i want um like it has to do with love languages right so let's say like his love language is physical touch and your love language 
is acts of service and all he does is like he wants to cuddle and like he wants to spend time together and he just wants a lot of physical touch but you're not receiving the love that he's giving because your love language is acts of service that's the way you know a guy loves you and he's not giving you acts of service so you don't feel love even though he feels like he's loving you by giving you physical touch your love language is acts of service so you don't feel love that is valid and i feel like women should talk to their partner and be like hey like if you're not giving me acts of service like how are we gonna make this work you have to love somebody in their love language not yours so i don't know is that am i making like any sense so basically how to see if a guy loves you he's putting an effort to show you that he's he loves you in the way that you need to be shown that he loves you he's not loving you in the way he feels like he should love you he's loving you in the way you're telling him you need to be loved that's the shorter answer <laughs> so when do you know you're ready for a relationship um you'll never be ready for a relationship you know what's funny uh, i told my girlfriend this the other day and i said people always say like they need time to um get their stuff together to be in a relationship and which i like do agree with but at the same time like okay I agree with people saying like, oh, I need to like, like when men say like, I need to get like my house and like a job first before I think about a girlfriend. I think that's very smart. No man should be dating any woman when he ain't got no car and he ain't got no job and he ain't got no crib. But besides physical things, I feel like mentally, like in the space you are in your life, I feel like you, like you can be ready for a relationship at any time, depending on what type of relationship you want. If you want a long-term relationship, you need to understand that for a person to really love you, they have to see you in all of your different phases. So throughout like two years in a relationship, five years in a relationship, 10 years in a relationship, you're gonna see a lot of different phases of that person. You're gonna see when they're stressed, you're gonna see when they're depressed, you're gonna see when they're heartbroken for not getting like a job or like somebody passes away in their life you're gonna see how they react in terrible situations you're gonna see how they react in amazing situations so to see that growth in a person and to adapt with that person is to know that you guys are meant for each other when you guys can support each other through hard times through good times so you know you're ready for a relationship when you know you're ready to bear that with a person because a lot of people think like oh my god like since we love each other everything is going to work out and my life is going to be so happy but that's not the way that things work you know like you're gonna go through that's just not the way things work like you're gonna go through really hard times with somebody and you have to be prepared for that and sometimes you're not gonna want to cuddle with that person you're not gonna want to kiss that person because you're so depressed you want to be left alone and if you're ready for that with that particular person if that person is really good at emotional support if that person is just really good with mental support they're they're there for you they're supporting you they're motivating you no matter how upset you guys are with each other no matter how angry you are with each other you guys could still come together and give each other unbiased advice that's how you know you're ready to be in a relationship with that person that's for long-term relationships. If you just want to date around and have fun, you know you're ready when they ask you and you want to say yes. So it just depends on what you want. How can you tell if you have feelings for someone? I would say you're thinking about them a lot and you're thinking about like, what if you guys were together? How would you guys act with each other? If they make you really happy, if they make you laugh, if they just bring out feelings in you that make you want to be really intimate with them. Um, if you just want to get to know them like and intimacy isn't just sex you guys intimacy is a lot of different things it's like touching each other it's having deep conversations if you're feeling like that with this person then that's how you know you have feelings for them okay so this person said reasons why we should focus more on ourselves and man is not a necessity I think that if you are in your phase of wanting to focus on yourself first of all i think that's the most important phase ever for a woman to have because you always want to have value in yourself whether or not your relationship with your significant other works out or not like 
If your relationship with your boyfriend slash or girlfriend doesn't work out, then you're always able to bounce back and have your own thing, which is super important. And I think that it's important to practice being alone. Like I have been alone. I think the longest I've been alone is three years without like a boyfriend or girlfriend. And I think that's really important because I learned a lot about myself. I was forced to be alone. And um, you are forced to learn about yourself. You're forced to learn the good things and the bad things about yourself. So that is a great reason to be alone is to further develop yourself and who you are. Um, and to see your bad traits and to just be honest with yourself and to know like what kind of traits you could be bringing into a relationship when you want one but it's also to understand that life isn't just about love life is about being happy and having fun and connecting with family finding new friends having new experiences traveling like there's a lot to life besides love and i've definitely learned that while being alone because i don't crave a relationship like i don't need a relationship it's a want you know it's nice to have but, you know, I didn't fucking beg for that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need it, so. Um, yeah, man is not a necessity. Nobody's a necessity. But if you do find somebody that you feel a genuine connection with, then you deserve to feel that kind of love. If you ever want to feel intimate with somebody and you feel like you really like them, don't close yourself off to it. Like, accept it like accept new experiences people are so afraid to have experiences because they're scared of getting hurt like get over it you're gonna get hurt like this is life do you think like everything is gonna be perfect and you'll never get hurt ever again in your life because like you don't talk to men anymore no like there are different ways of getting hurt you need to learn how to bounce back and you need to learn really good healing mechanisms because there there's gonna be a lot of times in your life where you're gonna get hurt and if you can't deal with that then like that says more about you and how much growth you're willing to have this guy asked why are good men overlooked so much in the culture real men who protect and provide why are they viewed as lame and boring also talk about a woman's mindset is like in her face i think that because a lot of people come from kind of a broken home or they come from like their parents not really showing them affection and they come from not seeing their parents show affection towards each other you internalize that you internalize your traumas as a child and what we do is we project that onto other people we project that in friendships we project that in relationships and we have relational trauma so basically what's happening is women are meeting men that remind them of either their fathers or their mom or they're meeting men who their dynamic reminds them of their parents dynamic it brings them kind of familiarity so if you've grown up in a chaotic household your whole entire childhood that's why you're drawn to chaotic relationships with other men because that is what you're used to and that is what makes you feel safe even though it's not safe it makes you internally feel safe because your inner child is like oh this is what i'm used to this is how i feel loved around chaos so that's the thing a lot of um, people men and women are going through is they're trying to repeat what they've seen in their house and they're not healing from it so that is the reason why people do what they do and the only way to get through this is to go to therapy <laughs> go to therapy and as a child of divorced parents i have definitely been drawn in my past not anymore because i have a completely different type now like i've said before um like the person that i want now is nothing like this but um 
yeah like i was drawn to emotionally unavailable people for a really long time and until i went to therapy and i was like bruh like i'm drawn to this shit but it makes me feel terrible like i'm done like i'm done feeling terrible i'm done being with people who are so bad at communicating because i'm a really good communicator so i thought but i'm a good communicator but i'm not a good communicator with my feelings so going to therapy and learning that about myself and learning why that's where i was able to heal but you can't be upset with people just because they have traumas um you have to have empathy for them because i was at that point before and people love to glorify toxic relationships now which is extremely dangerous but you're just repeating your past traumas they're just doing what they're used to so you can't be mad at them you have to give them room to heal all you can do is plant the seed and tell them you deserve better and keep moving on so someone says how do i get over a man we've been seeing each other for three months and he lost interest the best way to get over it is to realize that just because you thought that you guys had like an energy towards each other and he's not acting like you did doesn't mean that you're invalid like a lot of women like they try to act like or they feel like they're not valid anymore since the person that they like doesn't feel the same way towards them and that's not the truth like they don't feel the same way towards you because they have a different taste or because they're afraid or whatever reason honestly it doesn't matter what matters is that you guys and this you guys cannot be together and the best way to kind of get over somebody is honestly time and it is self-love and it is self-care learning how to love yourself loving yourself in the way that you wish that person would have loved you if you like giving yourself gifts if you like getting massages if you want to get your nails done you know do little things for yourself to remind yourself that you're worthy start working out like do things like that to remind yourself that you are your first love and that is the most important thing re-love yourself you know we all get caught into that situation we kind of lose ourselves into somebody and we just need to tell ourselves that you know like i love you like tell yourself you love yourself but don't be impatient like you're gonna get over them you guys you're gonna get over them don't worry so somebody says how to know if a guy is only being nice with you for sex and not because he wants a relationship um it's a really easy way to tell and if you guys talk and all he talks about is sex and all he wants to see are your news and he just wants you to take your clothes off every single time you guys see each other that's how you know he just wants sex a guy that really likes you will tell you he really likes you and you won't have to ask like if you have to ask somebody or if you have to ask google if a guy likes you then he doesn't like you and if he does like you he's not showing you in the way he needs to be showing you and you don't want either <laughs> you'll know if a guy likes you he'll tell you and he'll show it how often to change your razors change your razors from seven to 10 shaves um that's when you want to change your razor i'm going to put mascara on and i'll be right back so this person says they're almost done with school and they're panicking about the future that is totally normal girl like you know what's weird people expect us to have our lives like together by our in teens slash early 20s but it's like if we die around the age of like you know 90 to 100 like you expect us to have our lives together like by the quarter of our lives that's so odd but anyways a lot of people don't have it figured out um a lot of people are just figuring out just like you and a lot of people actually change their career directions like halfway through their lives they change what they want to do they don't want to do the same things anymore so if you have a clear path of what you want to do right now just do it and be open to adapting and changing whenever you feel the need to but you shouldn't panic 
you should be excited for new experiences. That is it for this girl talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me slash girl talk. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel and it helps with the algorithm. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.